Well, what else do we need to say here? Um, I believe there's three things the church is called to do. They're really simple. We say it a lot of different ways at East Coast. Every year or two, we kind of look at it again and re re say it. Right now, we're saying it this way. We say Christ, connection, compassion. We're called to reach up to Christ. Our life is a life of worship. Our life is a life of service. Our life is a life, in fact, Revelation says, the purpose we were made was to glorify God. That's why we were made. We were made to glorify God. So if we do not reach up, if, we do not, if we're not involved in exaltation, if we are not Christ first, we will never have anything to reach in or to reach out with. And so we need to know him, we need to be impacted by him, we need to be changed. And for the most part, Saturday night, I'm talking to the church, the church is here, we are the ones who love Jesus. And so one thing is Jesus, number one. Number two, it's connection. It's our involvement with one another. It's the edification that goes on in this building where you're built up, where you're charged up, where you're revved up to go out into a lost and dying world and do what you're called to do. This is not life. This is not ministry. This is when the team gathers to be built up, to go back out into a lost and dying world. And then what? We reach up, we reach in, and then we reach out with the love of God. So it's Christ. It is connection. It is compassion. And as far as I'm concerned, those are the only three jobs that the church has. I tell you, you reach out to the hurting and the lost, you better be ready. God said, do you really want to reach these people? I said, yeah. Are you, he said, are you willing to give your life to do it? Yes. And now my daughter has uh, twin girls and a beautiful son, and he sings on our worship team, and he's got a great job out at the cave, and he used to be a drug-abusing, hurt kid that I brought him into our home to live with us, and he is now my son-in-law. And I've got a kid that was a, was a problem in the world, selling drugs, and now... He's like, a, he's like a son to me. Lift up your eyes, Faith Life Church. Your heart, where, who, are, who is your overlooked, underappreciated, hurting, rejected person? Because those Samaritans, they were hungry. And there are people around you right now, hungry, probably the ones you're not looking at right now. So lift up your eyes.